G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. This is going to be a bit of a mix of a video. I've had some private messages sent to me asking how my knee is recovering and also what I have done to help it along with recovery. And I've also noticed on a couple of other groups people are asking how to start off with hiking or bush walking. So my recovery, how I did it, is very similar to how I would have done it if I was a first time hiker and getting into it. So my knee, the one that actually went on me, is probably 99% good. I'll never say 100%, but the other knee, which I think I've been overcompensating for, does get a little bit sore at times but nothing serious where just taking it easy and having a rest doesn't solve so I started off by going to the doctors with the injury or when my knee gave way when I was out on the Bilbelman track and had all the x-rays waited for the results, seen all the results came back clear and that's when I with the doctor's assistance or a bit of advice from him as well decided on how I was going to get back into my hiking and get my legs up to it again, my knees so and that was I had two or three more days rest and then I just started small walks there's a couple of minutes away from where I live, there's a, a local park. Let me adjust this camera. That's better. There's a local park. And there's a path, which is a circular path, which is about 420 metres in total length. So I started by going back out there, just carrying a bottle of water with me. No weight on my back and with my walking boots on because I know they're comfortable and they're even more comfortable now I just started walking around the track or around the pathway my first plan was to do 12 and a half laps which works out to 5 kilometers let's climb up here <coughs> and that I kept doing each day until I was averaging five kilometers per hour, which was pretty comfortable. So using the same example, if this is the first time you're looking at getting out hiking or you're looking at getting back into hiking after surgery or just after a break for a few years with life and work getting in the way go out there and even if you only did the one lap to start with it's one lap more than you would have done and if you're comfortable with that one lap just increase it slowly to two laps to three laps to four laps your pace it doesn't matter how quick or how slow you do it, the important thing is you actually do it. I set myself a point of how long it takes the speed or my pace of five kilometers per hour because I was comfortably walking that before, so that was my target. If you want to set yourself a target, set a realistic target first because if you set one too high and you don't make it in the first few days or the first couple of weeks you're gonna or a lot of people begin to feel down about it that they've failed but the truth is you haven't failed just walking around that pathway or if you're walking around the local field or somewhere like I am now my total distance today is going to be remember 
2.6, yeah, 5.2 kilometers there and back. I haven't set myself a pace, but if you walk in something like this, as you can see, I'm out of breath because this is all incline. Just relax, look around, enjoy what you're doing. Most phones have got camera. Stop and take a photo or a small video. Just enjoy being out there. And the more you go out there, the easier it will begin to get. Just leveled off a little bit now. So yeah, the easier it will be get, begin to get, the more often you do it. Don't overdo it. I had a friend who's retired and he decided to go back to the gym and he's looking at doing where well, he's set up to do five days a week. I met him yesterday for a uh, a drink and have some breakfast and he was hurting. He looked pale, he couldn't eat for his breakfast. I walked him back to his car and he was staggering all the way, nearly falling over. He'd just overdone it. So going on the way he was, I suggested to him, back off, just go at your own pace. If you don't get as many reps as everybody else done, that doesn't matter. If you don't get as many jumps or whatever you're doing as everyone else, it, that doesn't matter. Just do it at your own pace and drop from the five days, drop to two days. And the other three days, just go for a gentle walk and get your body into it. And he agreed. <laughs> he agreed that's what he should be doing. It's the same with getting out hiking. Just take your time. You don't have to go every single day of the week. You start off by going twice a week or go once. And if you feel like it, just up it to twice a week. <coughs> Excuse me. And then if you start feeling even better, up it to three times a week if you've got the time. And then again, increase the distance a little bit more. Once I reach the five kilometers per hour, doing five kilometers around the track, I up mine to eight kilometers, uh, 7.5 kilometers. And within two or three days, because I'm used to the hiking, even though a lot of times it sounds I'm out of breath and I'm going to drop dead as I'm going up inclines. Uh, it only took two or three days to get back up to five kilometers per hour. <coughs> so then what I did was I grabbed one of my smaller backpacks, threw some water in it, and I carried about uh, three and a half kilos in weight. And once I was able to get the 7.5 kilometers at five kilometers per hour again, I thought, okay, I'm gonna have to increase the distance again. But because of this path being so small around the local park, it was a bit of a, uh, yeah, it got a bit boring <laughs> to, like I said, to do the 10 kilometers on there. I would have had to do 25 laps. So I found somewhere else to go and that's not far from me and it's the local regatta. And this place, the lake was made man-made. It was made for uh, two Olympic standards. So each lap around this lake, <coughs> oh, tickling my throat. Each lap around this lake is five kilometers. So I went the first day, I didn't have a uh, pack on. I just had my hydration pouch with a litre of water in. And I did two laps. Then I went another day and another day. <coughs> so I had three days of doing 10 kilometers per hour. And on the fourth day, I made it back up to five kilometers per hour. So I was happy with that. 
was it 10 kilometers over two laps and I got up to five kilometers an hour so I'd already improved and that was over one two three four weeks because I didn't do it seven days a week the most I did was five days a week and I felt that a bit too much so I backed off back down to four days a week which was just right for me then <coughs> now in the last week I've taken off because I've had work and everything so I'm back out now and like I said I'm doing 5.2 kilometers on a building track down to the Ball Creek shelter and back again but I'm carrying my pack and with the way to the water camera gear the pack itself and odds and sides I've probably got about 10 kilos on my back and now on the level as you can hear I'm breathing again without any hassle or trouble so it's quite easy to breathe and walk and talk so next week because today's a Friday I'm gonna go back to three days but I'm upping it to 15 kilometers a day and in the final week I'll do the same again until I'm averaging back up to my five kilometers per hour around the track when you go out bush I've seen people with a walking poles and they're walking quicker than I can run I'm good on them but the way I see that if everything they're going past is going to be a blur you're not going to get a chance to enjoy the scenery you're walking but I know when I get out on track we're stopping to make videos take pictures I'm averaging about 3.5 kilometers per hour and that to me is just nice if the fitter I get again and that average goes up by doing the same sort of thing and still being able to look at where I'm going and my surrounds that's not going to make any difference to me whether it's 3.5, 4.5, 5.5 kilometers per hour as long as I am able to just enjoy the scenery it's like look at this if I was racing down here now at 10 kilometers per hour I'd miss most of the scenery and even at walking at my pace I've had kangaroos just a matter of meters away just waiting to shoot off when I get too close if I was racing at high speed I'd miss that because I'd probably end up having a heart attack me personally but so going out there you start off on a single day single lap two laps three laps build it up gradually don't hurt yourself just do it at a comfortable rate for you now the reason I'm back out here again if you haven't been following my channel please go down and subscribe is I'm walking the Bibbulmun track at the moment and I'm doing it sectional whenever I have time so when I get three or four days in between jobs I'll come out for two or three days or four days and do that on, this, on the Bilbo track and get picked up or if I'm lucky I'll just grab a coach or bus back and just walk home from the local bus station and it's over a thousand kilometers in length this and like I said I'm not going to race getting that done I'd love to have the six weeks and just start from one end and walk down to the other end just taking my time and enjoying every single day not rushing things just relaxing and enjoying it so I can't say much more than that about getting out there I'll remember to take water wherever you go winter summer spring autumn fall whatever you want to call it always take water with you I had the uh, misfortune of walking on a section on the Bilbao track and they had forecast temperatures low to mid 30s and it got up to the mid 40s at centigrade and dehydration got me and I went flat on my face and I had to click the emergency button on my spot uh, if you've never heard of a spot it's a tracker or an e-curve 
so you'll just hit the SOS button and that went up to the satellite and that went up to the spot headquarters and they contacted Australia and Australia contacted the local air wing which was a chopper and these guys came out and picked me up even though it was a great experience seeing all the beautiful sunset and thunderstorm coming and everything it was a dangerous one and I could have died because of not having enough water to that point if I hadn't carried the extra water I had I could have collapsed earlier and been a lot worse off so carry your water now I'm going to carry on enjoying my walk and I hope this has been helpful and if it has and you're not a subscriber <laughs> little lizard and you're not a subscriber please go down below I think it's on here there's a little subscribe button there is below here, the video there's a another subscribe button there's a uh, notification bell click on the notification bell and they've brought a new thing that we choose personal or all them on just click all so you can be notified of all future videos coming up and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care